So I discovered uh, the joy of learning art and creating when I was a little girl and I just loved arts and crafts and baking and cooking in the kitchen and it just sparked my imagination and gave me a sense of peace and safety and um, I just loved that. But my favorite form of art and my favorite thing to do was um, to paint ceramics with my grandma. Um, I would spend time at her house and she would teach me how to do those things and pick out ceramics and paint and glaze and um, we had such a good time together and I had very special memories with her. But I, it wasn't until I was an adult um, and also in college that I learned about the throwing pottery process. And I just really was bound and determined to learn this skill, sitting at the wheel. And I knew that I just loved it and wanted to learn it. And so uh, I was bound and determined to do that. And um, ever since then, I was hooked on pottery. So the story of my space started when um, I was only taking weekly lessons off-site and I knew to hone my skill I needed more time and we had this dilapidated building on our property that we were just going to tear down and my husband said why don't we renovate it into a pottery studio for you and I loved the idea obviously <laughs> to have a space here at home and um, after many years of headache and backache on his part, um, the space was finished and uh, it turned out amazing. Um, it has great light, um, just a wonderful, peaceful, enjoyable space to create um, whenever I want to. And um, I just love being down here. But it was not large enough at then moving forward to um, do the secondary part of the pottery process, the firing and the glazing. So we purchased another building and this year uh, he was able to renovate the interior of that. And now I have, um, that houses the, the kiln and the glaze and things. And I'm able to have the whole process of the pottery from start to finish here on our property. And it's just great to be able to come out my back door and walk down and just start creating whenever I want to. There's just so many things, honestly, sitting in the studio of lessons I'm learning or lessons I have learned. And I think if I think about it, um, the studio and doing pottery is a small illustration of life in general. It ha is full of difficulties and disappointment and success and frustrations and accomplishment. And so I think there's a lot about life that I'm learning in the studio, being patient, having grace, as things are slowly drying or waiting for something to turn out and it breaks in the process and there's beauty in the brokenness. Also, some days are just wonderful and I love being down here. Uh, I love creating and everything goes really great. And other days are just so frustrating and hard and I wonder, what am I doing here? <laughs> but I think in all of that, um, that's part of being a faithful artist, is to just keep persevering through the uncertainty and the difficulties um, and keep using my gifts for ultimately God's glory. And hopefully by bringing beauty of my art to other people. It inspires hope, and generosity, um, 
in the lives of others. My name is Tracy Bowman. This is my space and I am Poema Visual Arts.